Hello everybody and welcome to Honey Bunny Games. My name is Twisted and today we are going to be playing Colony Survival. So what is Colony Survival? It is a game that reminds me quite a lot of No King No Kingdom, which we played about two weeks ago on the channel, if you're watching this in real time. Basically, we build up a colony, we build buildings, we build uh, farms, we build mines. At night, enemies come out and our goal is to defend against them by either using the weapons ourselves or by assigning our colonists to do their job. So first of all, we have to place our banner. I'm gonna place our banner over here. That seems like a decent location for the banner. This is where we can actually recruit a uh, colonist. So if we recruit a person now, we're gonna spend 50 of our food. We have 200 food over there and they will actually consume some food. It costs food. I thought it also required a bed. Okay, it requires a bed. Five, it requires five food a day per colonist. And it also requires us to have a bed. We don't have a bed just yet, but we're gonna get one soon. We we'll open our inventory. This is our stockpile. So this is the things that our colonists can use. This is not our inventory. So we can move stuff from the stockpile into our inventory if we so choose. Now colonists only have access to 150 arrows. But we actually don't need arrows. We're gonna actually take all of them away and put them all in here we have a lot of saplings, we can use those to plant some nice trees. Torches are obviously for light. Bread is our food, so I'm guessing each bread is three food maybe? I don't know if they can actually eat seeds, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, let's first of all, we should probably go and actually plant uh, some seeds, that makes sense to me. So I'm gonna put this down here, we're gonna close the menu, we're gonna press uh, one. You're gonna select, we're gonna click, we're gonna select a wheat farm. So we want to make a wheat farm. And the optimal size for a wheat farm is 10 by 10. This is actually not that great of a location because we are in the middle of an open field. We actually prefer if we were really close to the lake or to an ocean or something, because that way we would have one less flank to uh, protect. But that's okay. So we're gonna actually make a, when they get a wheat farmer, place on grass on dirt. There we go. So we want to make it probably 10 by... Well, I stopped holding it. Oh god, no. Oh, no, okay, my, my mistake. That's what I wanted. Remove area, yes. Okay, now we removed all the things, that's okay. Uh, okay, let's just drag it all the way, make it 10 by 10 to large. 10 by 10 is the maximum size. And I, of course, clicked the wrong button. So you right-click to start, and then right-click to finish. Left-click cancels it, so don't do what I did two times in a row. Alright, so now we have our wheat farm. And we have a lot of things here, no columns remaining, that's okay. We can actually, if we want, I don't know if grass is gonna grow back. This looks really ugly, I just made this look so bad right now, I'm kind of ashamed of myself. I completely botched my farm. Now that we have the farm, our goal is to actually, so, plant these wheat seeds on the entire farm. One by one. Yes, we're gonna have to plant all of these one by one, it's gonna take us a bit, so I'm gonna actually make a quick cut here until I'm done with that. Alrighty, so I planted everything. Thankfully, you can hold the seeds. To, oh, I missed one spot over here. You can hold the right mouse button to just plant them everywhere. I missed a few spots apparently. I didn't know how that happened. I also went to the forest. I dug out some grass and replaced these uh, ugly dirt blocks with the grass just because it looks kind of off. I didn't really like it. That wasn't the biggest fan of that. So uh, let's actually make a bow. We need some planks. That's okay. Let's actually make one of these for ourselves. We have some arrows. Let's take 50 arrows, just in case we're gonna have to use these, in case some zombies come. They might come because uh, it's gonna be nighttime very, very soon. But we have to mention this game is really, 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 really early. It is in no way finished. In fact, it's not even available on Steam. I am playing the Steam version, though, because they have an early build up for YouTube, folks. And I have to thank my buddy, Grace Plays for getting me a key for this. He's been in touch with the devs. And he got a few of us keys to play the game. So, uh, zombies might actually spawn soon. We probably want to recruit someone. Before we do that, I do actually want to get a little bit of this dirt. Let's make a bed. Needs, needs plank and straws. Let's make a bed. Can make can, can bed stack? They can. Let's make three beds immediately because we will need these very, very soon. So, I'm gonna just, to begin with, I'm gonna put them really close to our banner. Like that. And now we have a bed. That's good. That's Gucci. So Gucci, man. Uh, let's actually... I think we need to have an empty inventory, right? Let's actually move this away. To... No, is it one? Command tool, banner tool. Okay, it's, okay, we have to right-click on the flag, I see. I was looking on the thing. If we right-click on... 
Actually, we don't look like it anyway, that's good. We're gonna recruit a colonist, and cost of five food per day, but... Since we have a job for him to do, now he's gonna immediately find his job, although he's gonna go to bed because he's a sleepy bastard. Oh, there's a zombie man! Alright, so let's, let's, let's do this, guys. Actually, really far away. I do wanna kill him before he gets any closer. He will come to us at one point. Let's go snipe him out of his misery. There we go, he's very much dead now. It's probably gonna be the- oh, there's more of them. Never mind, I was gonna say it's probably gonna be the only zombie we have to deal with today, but they seem to be coming still. We need to get an archer. Just protect our dudes. Probably gonna be a good call. There's more of them coming around. I do actually want to get an archer, like, as soon as possible. So, let's actually make another bow. And just place the bow on the ground. Not how we do it. Oven, furnace, quiver, in the quiver, right. Quiver is for the guards, right, right, right. We need a bow in the stockpile so we can get it. Let's just place a quiver on the ground. I made two by accident. But that's okay. Let's click on this. Uh, I create a colonist. That's not free bed because I haven't placed the bed right. I haven't placed the bed yet. Right, 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 right. Let's just place all the beds immediately. Uh, I don't see why not. I'm gonna place them like this and like this. Again, I will build them a house at one point. I don't think it's very urgent right now. Just get another dude. And since there is an empty quiver here, he's gonna do that as his job. So he won't actually wait, he's gonna go straight for it. He's gonna take the quiver, he's gonna stand, he stand guard here. Does he have the bow? He did take the bow from the inventory, which is Gucci. So he should be armed and dangerous now. All right, there's more zombies coming in from behind. You can actually turn on the lights if we so choose by pressing G. I should actually probably keep that on at all times, because otherwise it's gonna be really dark in the video. Okay, there's a zombie coming this way. Let's see if this guy actually fights him. He should fight him. No problem, all right? Yep, yep, he killed him. They have some really nice shots. He's gonna actually shoot at everyone that comes nearby. He's also a really good shot. I think he kills everyone in one hit quite easily. Again, when there's gonna be more zombies, it's gonna be more difficult for him to do that. So you gotta be very careful. I wanna see if he kills the I can kill the guy myself, but I want him to take care of it instead. There we go, that was quite easy. There's no way to loot these guys as far as I can tell. I'm gonna just leave them alone. Alright, let's... I'm gonna actually make another wheat farm. I'm gonna leave a few blocks between here. Let's actually say three blocks. I'm gonna actually select this. Make it 10 by 10. Again, 100 plots. No one to work this farm, but we're gonna start actually planting some wheat seeds and they will be... They will, they will be doing their job as soon as we have them um, hired. Already I finished the farm. Let's go actually recruit some more peeps, recruit another person. As you might have seen in the top left, the unemployed number was at minus one. That's, that was because we had a job that was available, but no one was doing it, which told us that we needed one more person to actually have everything. If you have another person now, it would actually it would actually mean that we are uh, gonna have enough peeps to do stuff. All right, so what's our next step? Well, we have our wheat growing. It's gonna be great once it grows, but people don't really want to eat wheat, right? I don't eat wheat, ever. Uh, people want to eat some bread. It actually makes more sense. So we actually want to make an oven. Needs stone bricks. We do have stone bricks. We have 50 of those bad boys. Because the smelter will consume all of your ores. No, 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 that, that's the furnace. Oven will turn the wheat into bread. Also, we need to have uh, some crates. I actually make a few of those. One, two, three, four, five. Make five crates. We can make plants. P plants? We can make planks. Of course. I do want to place a crate. Let's actually have a template. Let's place a crate in the top right corner of each farm. Just like this. That way they can always go to the nearest crate. It should always be nearby. So they will put their wheat in there easily. Alright, so we, as we said, we need to have an oven. Let's get one of those made. Put the crates in the stockpile. And oven, again, it doesn't matter where you put it because it's really easy to pick things up. So we're gonna make a proper bakery later on, but right now I'm gonna just put this guy real close over here. I'm gonna put this like, in this area. And we need someone to take care of the job. I also want, wanna get another archer here. Because that guy's really far away. Let's just get an archer over here-ish, like that. Looking good location. We want to hire two more people, which means we need to make two more beds. There we go. All right, again, I will make a nice little barracks for him later on. Right now, this is going to be more than good enough. I could hire some extra people. 
And I might actually do that later on, but I don't think it's really necessary right now. I got two peeps, awesome. Collins beside the bow to take guard, okay. Of course, he's missing the bow. I don't want to give him my bow, so I'm gonna just make a bow from the crafting menu and put it directly in there. He's gonna do what he needs to do, he's gonna do what needs to be done. And this guy's gonna start making some bread for us. So now we have our own little manufacturing plant. What are you doing? You are... Taking stuff? You are... What are you doing? You're just looking at the thing. Okay. You're guarding, you are... Probably just pick... I'm guessing you are... Picking stuff up. Oh, actually, I actually don't have to be anywhere to recruit Collins. I can just do it from this menu. Interesting. Okay, that's my mistake. I didn't actually realize that. So I'm guessing he's taking... What is he taking? Yeah, everybody's probably three food. That's mean, that makes sense. He is... I'm guessing taking wheat? Although we don't have any wheat. No, we have we have saplings. They're for three years, right? I actually want to plant those later on. I'm guessing he's just waiting for our wheat to grow, because we actually don't have any grown wheat, right? This is the most grown wheat we have. Food is actually really low. We're using a ton of it per day. I may have actually recruited too many people too soon. I don't think we need the second need the second archer right now. That was maybe my mistake, to be perfectly honest with you guys. It may bite us in the butt. Because I don't know if we'll have enough time. Actually, we'll have. We have 36 food left. They're gonna spend 25, and we should have more wheat by the end of the day, I hope. Because this will be growing fairly, fairly rapidly, which is always good. It's always good to see. Alright, so now we have to do some mining. I don't want to mine really close to our main base. I don't want to go too far away. So my idea is I'm gonna chop all of these trees down. This seems like a nice little tree area. I'm gonna like chop this forest down and make the mine in here. But for now, I'm gonna just actually mine in this place manually. So we don't have to use a tool to mine. We just like go in and click Minecraft style without any picks. Let's go all the way down. We're gonna get some more stone and our goal is to find some ore. It takes a while to mine the stone. Again, we can always hire a miner to do this for us, which we will do. This game is about doing things. It's kind of like Factorio, honestly. You do things manually a little bit, then you hire someone to do the job for you, which I like quite a bit. It's a very, very nice uh, way of doing games. I really like games like that, where you slowly expand and become bigger and greater and more awesome as time goes on. So how deep are we right now? I can't really tell. I haven't found any ore. I think there's maybe like a reasonable level. I can actually see through the map if we angle it correctly. Uh, let's actually just demolish these guys. I think actually, no, if we go infinitely low, if we go low enough, we get infinite ore. So let's actually make another quarter over here. I think that was in the instruction manual. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you have a layer of infinite ore. So that is the plan. Go all the way down the bottom. I don't think we can mine this, though. Is this infinite ore? I don't think we're getting any ore from this. Last template. Oh, we're getting... It's infinite stone bricks, though. Alright, that's actually very Gucci put that in our stock because we don't need it right now. There you go. We have a lot of things we can still mine. Linseed oil makes things shiny. Shop can only buy very expensive flax seeds for now. Adobe. Dirt for rich people. <laughs> a lot of things over here. So I'm guessing this is uh, just infinite bricks. Okay. So what if we instead went over here and we just decided, you know what? I want to mine this entire area. To like a little flat surface. See if there's any ore nearby. Again, we're gonna hire a real person to do this. I do know there's ore in the game. I did see it. With my own two eyes, I just don't know what's the best way to find it. I think I heard some bows firing. That may be the zombies attacking and my guys fighting back. We have 24 food. That's more than we had. We had 36, right? So we spent 12 food. 25 per day. If we don't have enough food, they're gonna just die off. Which is fine. And then when we get more food, we're gonna be mighty fine. Okay, no ore over here. Alright, let's just leave this for now. We're gonna hire a miner to do that for us. I don't wanna hang around in the mines for no good reason. We might, I might actually try to explore a bit more to find some ores, but not right now. That's very, not very, very necessary at the moment. But how are we doing right now? How are our seeds looking? They're growing very slowly, not doing so hot. This guy is still protecting. This almond is not being used at all. Baking limits. Infinite. Needs wheat 8. Can I, like, do something with this one? No, I cannot do anything with this. Oh, I didn't want to put that down, my bad. 
mistake. You all gonna go to bed. Archers never sleep, which is kind of weird. So I guess you don't actually need the beds for them, although you do need the beds to actually be able to recruit them. But they will never, never actually go to bed. Alright, so let's actually jump the night. I'm gonna skip the night and kill some zombies while waiting, and we're gonna continue on. I would actually building some stuff. I want to actually build a wall so that we have a better defense location. Alrighty, it is finally daytime again. We have some wheat that is ready. This guy is gonna get it all. It's gonna be a hundred wheat total, right? Because it's 10 by 10. And it's gonna be plenty of bread for us. You also have more food now because this guy actually baked it into food. Awesome. He made it into bread. That's awesome to hear. I want to make more farms around here. And I probably have to move the walls at one point. Because I want to actually have four farms in this area. I probably should have done that immediately. Let's actually do that right now. So I'm, I'm building the walls. I built the walls most most of them around the base. I also had to go on the ground to get some more stone because I actually ran out. Um, I did find the infinite ore, so I did that, that mine a little bit more more deeply. I found some ores so we can actually get that whenever we're gonna need it. So I actually want to like use the command tool. Yeah, give me a uh, sapling is the next place, a grass and dirt, bottom layer of the world, wheat farmer. Yes, yeah. so when I have, we said three blocks of space. Yes, and do this over here and go get a 10 by 10 -er. Okay, too large. Yeah, 200 is the most we can have. Probably want to have it like this. 100 and then you don't put the colonists left to take. Yeah, I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay, my friend. It's fine. And I all... Honestly, I want to have the walls like go completely to the edge, like this. I'm gonna have to plant all these manually again. I know it's gonna be a bit annoying. Uh, but once you plant the wheat, you don't have to plant them again. They just stay there forever. We do have to have double walls because we have just a single layer. Zombies can actually just climb over it, no problem. Which is not good for us. So I wanna keep that ready. Okay, let's have this area open. Again, I don't want to place them here. I will run out of blocks. Soon, I think I have like half a stack in many game inventory. I do want to hire a miner now that we have more peeps ready, and I actually will move that guy that's facing nothing. That archer I'm gonna move him to a better location. I'm gonna actually try to have most of my base surrounded by wall, just have a small little entrance. I made this wall too big, I can see that right now. I do know that I made it too big, but we have these trees that kind of protect us. I could make the rest of the wall out of uh, actually, we have more bricks, never mind. I could make the rest of the wall out of uh, planks, but I don't really want to do that right now. That doesn't seem right to me. It seems wrong to have walls made out of planks. Again, I could have uh, actually... No, but it, it's going to be the same length, right? If you go in or out, it doesn't really matter. So let's just use the trees as partial walls. For now, of course, that won't last forever. Thought I saw something in the dark there. It was nothing. Just the mind games. This seems like a very poor entrance right now. I don't like it at all. It's very, very bad. But I just wanna I'm gonna actually get some logs. I don't know if zombies can break down logs. I'm gonna build this rest of the wall out of logs. I don't wanna break everything. So these are our farms. I want our entrance to be over here. So we're actually gonna remove a few blocks. Maybe like four for now. I'm gonna mark them. Just like this, may actually do something like... Ah, it's too low. Just leave it open like that. That's gonna be good enough, I feel. Also, probably wanna, like, add a few more blocks on the side, just so we know that's the gate. Again, not the perfect gate, but it's gonna do for now. Logs. Again, these are probably more useful as building tools, but we can just get them back easily. Just have to hold our mouse on them for a little bit. Alright. Uh, can I take your quiver away? I can, good. I'm gonna get one guy over here. Actually, I do wanna... I want to get them on the walls instead. Hold on. Let's do it like this. So, can can I make them a little platform here? I think I can. So, let's do it like, like this. Yeah, that seems much better, actually. Oh, wrong button. Like this. Just place their quivers over here. Oh, he took the farm job, right, because we had an open farm. Uh, I should probably actually give you some seeds. I didn't plant these yet. Let's just plant a few. Oh, he's gonna plant them himself! I thought I had to plant them. Gray, you lied to me, my friend. 
Yeah, there's season here. They're gonna plant the seeds on their own. Gray told me we had to plant them manually. Silly Gray. All right. Uh, so we need more peeps, right? We have one job remaining. Oh, we have the archer job, right? So we're gonna if we take this guy's stuff, and I go take the other archer job immediately. Colonist miss item bow to take guard bow. Really? So are the bows lost? They actually might be consumed. Let's make let's make a few bows just so we have them in storage. Let's hire the other person. Uh, a colonist need a bed. Mm, okay, we are getting we have enough food so we can easily afford to give a bed. Let's make a few beds. There we go. Make a few beds. I might as well place them down immediately. Again, I don't intend on using them all right now. That's a poor bed placement on my part. Again, this is just temporary. This is our first wall. I'm gonna have it better later on. Command banner tool. Let's recruit a colonist man. He's gonna take up arms and actually fight. I'm gonna stay here. You're going to protect us. I want to make some special towers later on, but this seems reasonable enough. I actually kind of want to get more peeps here. Not for the quivers. I but I'm, I'm afraid if I get more quivers, uh, if I get more guards, I will not have enough to actually uh, get enough food. Okay, I, I can actually help this guy out. So he planted most of the seeds. I can actually plant the rest while he's asleep. Exactly what I'm gonna do, and I'm actually going to get a separate mine engine that can be accessed from the indoors. I'm gonna do that all off camera and I'll see ya in a second. Alrighty, so I made a new mine coming out of our base and I managed to meet it with our old mine. Which this, I blocked off the old engines, it's like just this way. I blocked it off so the zombies can actually get in so that we are safe. And now we have a ton of ores over here on the ground. So our goal is gonna be to actually figure out what these ores are. Let's try picking them up and see what they all are. So this Takes a long time to mine. Oh my god, this has to be gold, right? Yeah, it's gold. Alright, what is this? This seems like 10, I guess. The gypsum, alright, interesting. This is definitely copper. Yeah, oh, that's iron. Never mind, it's not definitely copper. Uh, that's So we have iron, gypsum, and gold. Alright, so now we want to go over here. The command tool. Miner, place on the bottom layer of the wall. How big can the mine be? Just one block, huh? Is this coal? Totally. Is this something that I see? What is this? That's coal. Alright, so we definitely want to actually make one more of those. Command tool. I guess... Okay, I don't want actually that. Remove area. Want this area. So want some gypsum. Some some of these. Some of these guys. And also want some, some old-fashioned stone. So can I actually... Miner, can I do this? No, I have to place them on the bottom. I have to mine everything else manually. Let's actually get like a, just a little area for normal ore. So we have five more areas. We need five more miners. We have five jobs. I don't know if it's possible to actually make them into one area. I don't think it is. Move area. Yeah. We're gonna have to have a few miners that are independent. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. Let's go take a look outside. Again, I need to make this entrance a bit nicer to use. I don't know if we can make stairs and stuff like that. If we can, it would be really useful. But I don't think that's a thing we can do right now. So we're right over here near the forest. Everyone is still alive. They're doing their job. They're actually getting a ton of uh, wheat now. Have whole three farms. We don't... We have a few wheat seeds in the inventory. We can actually... If we need more food, we can just put the bread in here. And they will actually turn it into other stuff. But I think they have enough right now. Getting more. I mean, I think we're gonna keep expanding non stop from now on, right? And it's at least my guess, Reno. So, I wanna get a miner. I wanna get a few miners just so we get some other resource. I, I shouldn't have designed this many all because now we need five people and we can't get five people. So, let's actually. Uh, no, let's get. I'm gonna a call. Let's do two guys. They're gonna go downstairs. They're gonna mine. They need a pickaxe. Of course, they need a pickaxe. Where do we make a pickaxe? Need iron ingot and planks. Okay, I need to have it in my inventory. Go. Let's actually make two of these. Put them in the stockpile. There we go. What is this? Sweet. Awesome. Gotta turn that into bread. Delicious, delicious bread. We consume all of our ores to turn it into metal workbench. We'll do the crafting for you. So this guy will make us arrows and stuff like that. 
Which we definitely do need cause arrows, earning it, and planks for eight arrows. We're doing okay with arrows, we have a decent amount right now, I don't have to worry about that. Plank, storage, bed, mint, so we do want a mint at one point. There we go, doing a great job farming. Again, I feel like we need more food, we're using a lot of food per day. This guy is not gonna be able to keep up, I think. He's getting the stuff, he won't be able to keep up. We need, I think we need... Simple as that, we need more wheat farms. So I'm gonna invest into one of those bad boys again. Um, let's move this. I didn't want to remove this thing. Ah, it's okay. Get dirty here. We're gonna turn it into the mining area anyways. Let's do this. Again, I want to make this the same as everything. I kind of regret placing these bricks before planning it out, but that's okay. We'll improvise on the go. That's what we do here at Honey Bunny Games. Go and wanna demolish these guys. Another one over here. Just wanna remove this entire old wall. Reminds us of our failures. Want us to not want it to not remind us of our failures. Want it to be a bacon of success. Because everyone loves bacon. Also, I didn't place another crate for that guy. I did I place a crate? I did not. I'll probably do that as well. Because I want him to, to have a crate time. Farming. Food is at three. That's actually really low. We have definitely have not enough wheat. I think I might have to ditch our miners now. Oh, it's gonna be bad. All right, I'm gonna go use the command tool. Got a wheat farmer area. Again, three blocks, three blocks. Look over here. Make it a ten by ten, like that. I definitely want to plant all of these manually. I'm gonna actually remove all our mining zones down there. I think they're important. But we already use our picks. Getting gypsum and gold. For, those, those are not important. Gypsum and gold is not important for us right now. I'm gonna remove those areas for now. They're gonna come back and eat. Yeah, of course. That's fine. Uh, we are so low on food. I am expanding too quickly without the proper food supply. Again, I remove area. Remove all the areas. Move all the areas. I guess I could leave uh, an iron area, right? Yeah, we have a guy anyways. But if one of them will probably die, because they're gonna become too hungry. Because we're low on food. And I don't know if there's a better way of getting food. Like, we have oven turns wheat into bread. He has been... I mean, we have spare wheat. I guess he might not be fast enough to get everything. We have one unemployed person right now. I'm gonna stick with one unemployed person. Oh, they're still working. Never mind. I thought they were gonna stop doing what they're doing. Planting the wheat seeds. I'm gonna actually give half of them over here to your inventory. I'm gonna help you with the other half. There we go. Once they're done, I'm gonna be done. This way it's gonna be faster to farm. I just wanna help out my friend here with his wheat shenanigans. I mean, it's a hundred seeds, that's actually a lot. We may not have enough now to think about it. We may actually have not enough seeds. We may actually want to buy more wheat seeds soon. How long? How much does he have? He has 40 left. That is gonna be enough for this batch. I'm out. Alright, you finish the rest. You are... I'm guessing one bread requires... Yeah, we're out of bread completely. Our only food seems to be the wheat and the seeds. The saplings with two peas. It's not good. I've made a huge mistake, guys. Can I fire this guy? No, but people will start starving. And that's gonna happen soon. We need to stop recruiting people. I have to stop being a dummy and start being a smarty, because I've been recruiting way too many people without the means to actually do anything with this. So we have the stone... Is it like anything better than, than this? Quiver, bow, guards need one. Pickaxe. Again, I don't think there's anything better here. Mint. Making gold. I guess... Uh, you can only buy flax seeds there, right? Nothing else we can do with gold right now. Log taiga. Four times the volume of logs. So I'm guessing this is just a separate uh, way of doing logs. Exactly the same logs, but to get them from a different tree. Makes sense. Beds, we need straw for that. I don't know how to get straw. I honestly don't know... I mean, I have some straw. How do we get it? Not sure. I'm actually not sure at all how to get straw. 
Maybe you get it from... Oh, you know what? We have... Is this just straw? Is this straw? Yeah, no, it's not. Leaves temper, but do they become straw? I think they become straw over time because I definitely had some leaves in my inventory. They actually must might just turn into leaves uh, if you leave them out long enough. Might be the same with grass because I think we'd have more than nine grass. Maybe not though because we might like five blocks there, two blocks over there. It kind of evens out a little bit. I'm gonna help out my guys with uh, fighting zombies. And we're gonna come back in the morning. Hopefully people will not die out. If they do, that's gonna be really, really bad for our business. Okay, so we have seven colonists all of a sudden, which means... Oh, we have a minus one. They're dying off. Oh god, <laughs> they are actually dying. Thankfully we have a lot of wheat. So I'm guessing it would take them too long to actually go do their job. We're spending food per day. They're dying off because they have nothing to eat. But if they just wake up in time... We lost an archer, which is bad, but I don't really care about that because I can just kill zombies my myself. Just a convenience. Um... We need to have the baker. We need to have at least like five colonists alive. We have four, five, and who's the am I minor dude? No, we have. We're gonna do doing fine, I think. We had eight, I think, in total. So we lost two guys. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get me some bread because we actually have some wheat now. This is all grown wheat. It's great. It's glorious. I'm gonna turn off my lights because it doesn't actually help me at all. The zombies seem to have all died off when the sun came out, which is good. Unemployed minus one, so there's more jobs. Okay, because we lost another dude. Okay, this is the baker man. He is gonna do great. Come on, just wait for the for the wheat to come out. We have to, we have to just survive a little bit longer, guys. Ooh, I think it's gonna even out. So we have to stop recruiting people for now. We have to have, I think, five of these guys, like four farmers, one baker, and one archer just to protect them just in case. I think the other archer was not necessary because we don't have that many zombies. I think one was more than enough for the time being. So hopefully these guys just survive. We have 5.6 food, so we actually are getting some stuff right now. Wait, he's gonna turn it into bread. He has the exclamation mark. I don't know what he's doing, but he seems to be looking in the crate. I could place another crate next to his thing, which might be better for him. Let's just try that. Just try doing this. And see if he actually stays near this crate, because it's a lot closer. Mm. Just place it behind him. That way he doesn't have to walk around. Are we even making the bread? He seems to be doing something. I don't, I don't know what's actually going on. I guess our food is the wheat seeds, right? Not the wheat seeds, the, the wheat itself. Because they can eat that, right? Yeah, it lowers the food when I take it. 1.3 for here from this. What is the other food? What is the 1.3 food? Is it saplings? I can't really say. It's something, though. This guy is, I don't know what, he's just standing around doing nothing of value. He is making bread, right? He was making bread. What if I tell you to make, like, say, oh. Is it because it was infinite? Was that the problem? Were they just eating raw wheat? That actually explains everything. Infinite, hold on. Making limits infinite. As soon as I changed that, he started making bread and our food is actually going up rapidly. And it's gonna last us for a long time because it didn't make sense, right? We use 30 food per day. One field is basically 80 food. Now he seems to be making it again. But let's actually stockpile bread, limit, make it like 100. 97, that's perfectly fine. So I'm guessing he wasn't even making bread at all. He got bugged out. He was just, uh, they were just eating the wheat on their own for some reason. Now he's actually doing his job. We are actually getting stuff and we actually can live. We can actually recruit more people because we have a ton of food, we're using 30 per day to have more than enough to last us for a while. We're gonna get even more because these guys are still harvesting their stuff and life is good. Okay, let's actually, just before we do anything else, uh, recruit a colonist. There we go. Cost... I guess it does cost 50 food, right? So I might have made a mistake there. No, we have, we have more than a day's worth of food and we still have a ton of wheat that they are still mining. Yeah, he's taking this. Yeah, he's taking. Oh, okay, I didn't want that. No, he's taking the stuff, right? Tick. Yeah. Okay, he was taking it from the oven, but he wasn't actually making bread before. He was just standing there doing nothing. I just figured he was making bread because that's what people usually do. And also, we did spend a lot of food in recruiting a few guys. I forgot that they cost a hundred per recruitment. There we go. It's gonna make some more stuff for us we have all the farms working that's all that matters and we also have some 
um, potential miner. We don't have miners yet, but we have a mine. We just have to go place dudes down. So no, right now I'm gonna recruit one miner, I think. I'm gonna mine some iron. And I'm gonna make one more person that's gonna be uh, making nut stone bricks. Yeah, it's gonna be making uh, iron ingots. And we can use those iron ingots to make more things. We have 18 ingots right now, which is not a lot. It's gonna come in handy in the long run. Furnace needs stone bricks. I actually wanna make a few picks just so I have them in storage, just so I don't run out. Let's leave these guys here. We have 100 food, so we're doing, we have more than enough. We should have not have any problems with this at all. It's going to be gloriously good. But yeah, I think I'm going to actually just end this video here. If you guys enjoy Colony Survival, let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like to show your support and all that jazz. I really, really like this game. And this game is super fun. I'm gonna definitely continue playing it more if you guys want to see more. I want to see more. I want to make a big-ass kingdom. It's gonna be glorious. Also, I did find a lake when I was looking around. There's a lake in... I think it's in that direction over there. There is a lake in the distance. I do want to expand our farm to reach that lake. Because if we do... Oh, it's over there. If we do reach the lake, we can build some awesome docks and ships and stuff like that. And it's gonna look pretty badass, I think. And we're gonna have one less side to defend. We can just expand our plots in pieces, so expand them a little bit, a little. We can leave the walls up in sections, and then we're gonna build some awesome buildings. I want everyone to have their own house so they can actually sleep at home instead of sleeping in the uh, under the open skies like they are right now. But yeah, I'm gonna actually just end this video here. You guys enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, it helps with a great deal, more than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hannah Games, and I will see you next time.